think about it for a few years and then do it. It's like, for example, I, I've always want I, I've always wanted a tattoo, and I'm 26 now. Mm-hmm. But I've wanted one since I was 18, and I had it in my head, and I thought, do you know what? When I'm 26, if I still want one, I'll get one. And I'm 26, and I wanted one, so I got one. I have. Four. If they had that same mentality with this trans movement, say your eight year old child, your 15 year old child mm-hmm. says they want to transition, mm-hmm. say okay, that's fine. Give it a couple of years, three, four years. If you still want this after you've gone through whatever it is you're going through, then fair enough, go and get it. And I guarantee that number will be back to back to what it was normally. We have seen several studies that suggest that about 80% of the, of the youth that believe that they are differently gendered, let's say, change their mind by the time they're 18. Roughly about 80%. Now, that's not to say that there aren't people who honestly believe that they're differently gendered, that will have a good and productive life, differently gendered. Fantastic. I'm happy for you. Go for it. Just be sure. And how much more of a support base can we build for those people and help those people if we say, okay, we have understood the consequences. We have jumped in with both feet straight in and said, hey, everyone has to be differently gendered. Everyone is absolutely differently gendered. There is no consensus, and everything is okay, and there is nothing that is off limits. Does that sound more like a recipe for absolute chaos, or does it sound like an organized society that's actually got support? We have no supports for these people built into our society or even within their communities. There's 63, supposedly 62 different genders Okay, if you happen to be gender type 58, whatever the hell that is, I don't know and I don't believe it. I personally don't believe it exists. Fantastic. But you do. Okay, you believe that it does. That happened over the last three to five years. Where is your support group? Where are the people just like you who are there to help you transition, to understand the nuances of this new aspect of your life? They don't exist because we haven't had enough time to put that together, to even have people figure out whether or not they're which one of the 62 different genders. People don't even know what that there are 62. They're quit. Some say it's 36, some say it's 12, some say it's three. We don't even have a consensus on the bloody number, let alone the names of them to let people know what the names are. You have no support group there. And what happens if I happen to be, you know, uh, I want to assume that I'm group 60 and in two years that's no longer counted and they just get rid of it and I'm no longer and they say oh no no, actually we got it wrong and we whittled down and scientific we're going to now say that it's 36 the popular thing today is now it's 36 and everyone only has 36 choices well I was choice 60 what happens to me where's my support group what's going to happen to those people We're not thinking long term about this. We're not considering the consequence of this. We haven't let it actually sit, settle, and understand. Maybe I'm wrong. Fine. I'm just asking for the time to find out. I want to be wrong. Maybe there's 7% of the human race that wants to, that is trans. Fantastic. Show me the evidence. Give us the time to find out. Let these people grow and actually be trans but i don't think that's the case because it's about politics that's who's pushing it every trans person i know and have known in my life which is probably more than the average person in the world just because of the circles i run in because i deal with politics and people and various aspects and the research i do i probably know more trans people than most most people in the movements know and have known and almost every single one of them want to live their life. They don't want to be on a pedestal. They don't want to be better than. They don't want to be different. All they want is to live their life every day. And for many years, overwhelmingly, most of them, if they didn't raise any flags, screaming at, you've got to respect my authority. 